All right, time for a little showdown. We have three pedals, the Boss VE8, the TC Helicon Play Acoustic, and the Digitech Vocalist, all looking to do very similar things, all in a similar price range. Let's see how they stack up. So this video is gonna break down into three different sections. First, we're gonna to listen to some demos of the pedals, that way you can actually hear what they sound like. Then I'm gonna share just a short review of each one of the pedals. If you want a more in-depth review, you can check it out in the description below. To save time, I'm gonna have it down there. And then I'm gonna share my rankings for each one of the pedals and we will crown one of them the champion. So let's get to it. All right, so first up are the demos. Now what you're gonna hear are two different songs played on all three pedals. The very first track is a very straightforward piece, meant really just to show vocal tone and guitar tone, though at the end you will hear a little bit of a harmony. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna push those harmonies to the max on a Bon Iver song, where we're gonna see how full of a sound we can get with vocal harmonies and with vocal processing. Now, I know that these two songs are the extremes of the spectrum, but I found that a lot of the other demos online did not address these sounds at all. So let's see what these pedals sound like with a very basic tone, and then when pushed to the max with vocal processing and with vocal harmonies. So let's take a listen. After all the jacks are in their boxes And the clowns have all gone to bed You can hear happiness Staggering on down the street Our footprints dressed in red And the wind, oh it cries Mary And the wind, oh it cries Mary And the wind, oh it cries So first up, in no particular order, is the Boss VE8. I think this is a very fun pedal, uh, particularly because of the physical knobs on it that allow you to easily just pick it up and play and adjust your sound. That being said, it isn't particularly conducive to user presets. Sure, you could save them into the memory, but they're a whole lot harder to adjust and tweak than the other pedals that have digital interfaces. And it's also much harder to get into the advanced settings of the pedal using the physical buttons and the tiny little screen on it. Uh, you also find if you play in dark environments that the text is very hard to read, it's not backlit, and so you need a considerable amount of light to actually read the pedal. Now, all that being said, it has a phenomenal guitar tone. Acoustic resonance is an amazing thing. It's the closest of all the pedals that I've been able to get my guitar to sound like it's mic'd up as opposed to just plugged in. Additionally, it has delay options for guitar, which none of the other pedals have. Now, the vocal tone, I think you could get a pretty solid vocal tone out of it. However, I found it to not be particularly flexible. You only have so much control over the sound that you're getting there. Additionally, I thought the harmony was a little bit lacking. Um, I found it hard to get the harmonies that I was looking for, especially compared to the other pedals. And I thought that they sounded okay, especially compared to the other pedals. Uh, of course, it also has looping features. My only issue with this pedal is that you need to hit the foot switch twice to have the looping stop. As such, I would always end up just using a separate loop pedal if I were ever looking to loop with this pedal. Keeping all that in mind, I think that this is a great pedal, and I think it's particularly a fun pedal to just pick up and play with. Next up, we have the TC Helicon Play Acoustic. Straight up, I just think that this is a really amazing pedal. Um, I think that the vocal processing is wonderful on it. I think it was the easiest of all the pedals to just get a really great tone out of and a tone that's gonna work for you. Uh, the vocal harmonies I thought were the most reliable and the most powerful and also very flexible. I was able to get exactly the harmonies that I was looking for um, and then figure out how to best blend those with my voice. 
Additionally, I think it has a really solid guitar tone. It's not gonna sound as natural as the VE8's acoustic resonance feature, but it does have body res, which will still give you a lot of control over things like your guitar EQ. Uh, its loop functionality is pretty standard. The only issue with it is that the loop length is a little bit shorter than the other pedals. So if that's something that's important to you, that's something to consider. I think the pedal is built very well though. Um, the user interface is incredibly intuitive. Additionally, the light up buttons make it very easy to read in any environment. All in all, I just think this is a, an incredible pedal um, and it's one that I would feel comfortable using in any setting, just knowing that I'm gonna get a great tone out of it no matter what. And finally, we have the Digitech Vocalist. Now, I actually found this to be the least intuitive of the pedals and the hardest to get a decent tone out of. Every now and then it would surprise me and I would get something that sounded really great. Uh, but overall, I found it really hard to get a good sound. And I think a lot of that may be due to its lack of control over the guitar tone. Uh, so you only have access to reverb and to chorus. You don't have control over anything like EQ. And as a guitarist, having a lot of uh, control over my tone matters a lot to me. Fortunately, you do have a lot of control over your vocal tone. I think you can get a pretty good sound out of it. Uh, the gold channel effect is really nice because you have easy access to things like compression and a de-esser and warmth. Um, and overall, you can get a really great vocal tone out of it. The harmony, you also have a lot of control over and I think it sounds pretty good. Um, I don't think it's as reliable as to play acoustic, but you do have more control than with the VE8. And overall, it sounds, it sounds pretty good. Um, of course, like the other pedals, it has a looping functionality. It's very similar to the Play Acoustic in that way, except you can loop for a little bit longer. Aesthetically, of course, it's a little different from the others. I don't particularly care for it, but fortunately that doesn't have much of an effect on the function. Um, and in terms of build, it doesn't feel as solid as the others, but it's still held up perfectly fine. All in all, I think it's a pretty solid pedal. I just think it's a whole lot harder to get a decent tone out of it than it is with the VE8 and the Play Acoustic. All right, so we've looked at the Boss VE8, the TC Helicon Play Acoustic, and the Digitech Vocalist. Which one comes out on top? If you haven't guessed it already, I would say hands down, the TC Helicon Play Acoustic. I thought this by far delivered the best overall sound of all three pedals. I think it has a really great vocal tone. It has very flexible harmonies and has a customizable guitar tone. It's also built very well. Of all three pedals, it's the only one that I wouldn't hesitate to pick up and play a show with tonight. The Play Acoustic, I would say, is then followed by the Boss VE8, another really great pedal that would probably satisfy a lot of guitar purists. I just really didn't think that it stacked up against the Play Acoustic. Both of these pedals are followed by the Digitech Vocalist. I like the pedal overall, I just didn't think that it really stuck out at all against the Play Acoustic or the VE8. Now, if you are in the market for any of these pedals, by all means, you be the judge, consider what is important to you, and if you can, try them out for yourself and decide which one you like the best. I think all three of them are really great pedals, but for me, by far, the Play Acoustic fits my needs better than the other two pedals. Um, now, I have a far more detailed breakdown of all three of these pedals in the description of this video if you're interested in checking it out. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.